For today's writing work, we are going to take another look at celebrations around the world. Uh, really focusing on winter celebrations because it is winter and uh, uh, many cultures have celebrations this time of the year. It's in a significant time of the year because we're approaching the shortest days of uh, the year. And uh, in the Northern Hemisphere anyways. Um, and particularly in colder climates, uh, these are very dark, cold days, and we like to uh, try to brighten things up a bit if we can. So uh, this week we're going to be uh, using some prompts here to talk about uh, celebrations around the world, and we're actually going to compare a couple different celebrations. Um, so to get started, I actually recommend just opening up the prompt. Uh, we're going to make a copy here. Once you make a copy, you'll be able to find that in Google Drive. So I, I suggest uh, making a copy and then um, just opening up Google Drive to um, to find this. Now you'll be able to uh, type this, uh, or rather find it there, but it, it'll work right here too. Now in your language notebook, in your language notebook, um, you can use this as a prompt to begin writing about winter celebrations. Or you might just want to, uh, if you feel like I'm kind of writing in Jeff's voice if I use this, you're welcome to, to uh, write creatively and, and, uh, and write it however you would like as well. So to begin with here, uh, it says, I read two articles about winter celebrations around the world, blank and blank. So those would be the two celebrations you read about. <clears throat> to find those celebrations... Um, we have some links right in here uh, in Schoology. One of them is uh, to Newsla. And um, if you open Newsla, now obviously you're going to have to sign in. Um, and I may have some trouble with this. Uh, there we go. Okay. So here's a collection about winter celebrations right here in Newsla. And um, we have a variety of... Um, Celebrations from different cultures. You can show, show more results. And I uh, suggest that you uh, choose, or, or actually really kind of asking you here to choose um, one culture that you're familiar with and perhaps one culture that you're less familiar with. Um, and then again, the prompt says, I read about one winter celebration that I know a little about called Plank. And uh, you may choose a celebration that you already know a bit more about. Um, maybe you know a bit more about um, Kwanzaa or uh, Ramadan or um, Christmas. Um, so that's going to be the uh, celebration that you write about first. Uh, the second celebration uh, that you uh, write about is going to be a celebration that you know less about. So choose or find an art, uh, a, um, a celebration that you don't know very much about. And then finally, you're going to write a little bit about what they have in common and what is different between these uh, two celebrations. So make sure to uh, label your, um, make sure to uh, Label your uh, your uh, writing here. Winter celebrations, and then you're going to begin uh, using that prompt. Um, so I read about, and I I have to make sure that I leave an indent at the beginning of my paragraph here. There's that indent right here, and I read about blank and blank. <clears throat> Notice I'm capitalizing the beginning of my uh, sentence using a period at the end. Uh, when you're done with this, you can submit it on Schoology.